Friends. I haven't finished reading Red Shirts yet, so that review is going to be put off until next week. I have about 30 or 40 pages-ish left. So instead, I'm going to do a hopefully short review of HBO's new series The Leftovers because the pilot aired and it was good. A short review of the pilot would be, it was good, you should watch it, the title is horrible, you should still watch it. The title is really bad, at least according to me and all of my friends, and I think the internet I'm not really sure, I haven't really looked into that too much. But I almost feel like it might be sort of a catch reference to those left behind, because the story is that a chunk of the population just kind of disappears from the face of the planet and no one really knows what happened or where they go, and it's sort of rapture-esque. The main part of the series is set three years after this kind of rapture event happens, and it's kind of dealing with how the entire world but especially the people in this one town are kind of dealing with all of their loved ones kind of disappearing and no one really knowing what's going on and this kind of new cult that doesn't speak and smoke cigarettes kind of appeared out of nowhere about a year ago. It's really interesting. It's one of those shows that does something that I really love which is not focusing on the event itself but how the event affects people and that's my favorite thing because all I really care about is characters and people and development because, you know, writer and stuff. It's just way more interesting to me than the actual event happening, to be totally honest. It's a really good pilot and hopefully the show ends up being just as good as the pilot is. I have really high hopes for the show. Obviously it's an HBO show and also co-creator of Lost. Hello! Two of my favorite things colliding together. 10 out of 10 would recommend is basically what I'm saying. Peace out Cub Scouts! Due to the fact that my comic book store finally restocked it with this very beautiful purple fourth edition of the first issue and I kind of freaked out and bought all of them, to be honest.